इंडिया टू प्ले ऑस्ट्रेलिया इन द फाइनल्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कप 2023 ऑन नाइनटीन ऑफ नवंबर 2023 संडे मैच इज देर सीरियसली स्पीकिंग वंस अगेन साउथ अफ्रीका हैज चोक वंस अगेन दे हैव चोक इन द क्रंस नॉकआउट स्टेजेस एंड हिस्ट्री रिपीट इज सेल्फ दे हैव नेवर प्रोग्रेस इन द फाइनल्स ऑफ द क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप हिस्ट्री एंड टूडे ऑल्सो दे हैव सकम टू द प्रेशर ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया सीरियसली द मैच वॉज ओवर इन द फर्स्ट एंड ओवर इज सेल्फ South Africa has lost three wickets in the first ten overs. Though it was not ten uh, first ten overs, it was ten point three. But still, it's first ten overs itself. Twenty two for three they were. Whereas Australia was first six overs itself. They have scored sixty runs. That onslaught on Rabada, Jansen, and uh, Kotze in the starting ten uh, six overs by Travis Head and David Warner simply took the match away from South Africa. Still, Maharaj Keshav Maharaj and that uh, this guy Shamsia tried his their level best to pull things back back for South Africa, but it was too much for them, yar. Because they are bowling only twenty overs per match. They are bowling only twenty overs per match, but and Makram is bowling some uh, seven or eight overs per match. So spinners are bowling thirty overs. Uh, fast bowler has to do something because the batsman has not eaten, at all got on par score. Seriously, I am speaking. 212 runs is below par score actually this was a 250 wicket 250 runs wicket 251 uh, 240 to 250 runs was a uh, on par wicket seriously they were 40 runs short miller and that classen seriously they tried their level best that classen it was a spinning wicket actually today's match was a spinning wicket that eden gardens wicket was a spinning wicket actually seriously it was a spinning wicket That is called spinning wicket because the spinners are picking up uh, three three wickets and Makram has picked up uh, one wicket. Four wickets they have picked up and there are also the Travis has picked up two wicket. Part time spinner is getting uh, four degree turns. So that is called a spinning wicket. Not yesterday. Yesterday was a flat decker. Today was a low scoring match. It was a proper turning wicket, rank turner wicket. Today was S- uh, Maharaj got the ball to spin for six degrees. Six degrees spin Maharaj has got. Anyway, talking about the batting. Uh, David Miller has batted out of his skin and got a century. He got the personal milestone, but he'll be absolutely kicking himself why he got out in the 47th over after hitting for a six. He went for another sixer because he knew that uh, the score is below par. He had to get some 20, 30 quick runs. So for that, in order to get that one, he just uh, gave the uh, gave his wicket away. And Cummins has taken his wicket, and that was a crucial blow. That is a t- uh, one uh, turning point of the match. Then the uh, initial start by Australian uh, bowlers, they absolutely restricted uh, uh, South Africa to two runs per over. Yar, in the first ten overs, मतलब pure timid batting by South Africa. Quinton Dick Hogg gave his wicket away. He was terrific for South Africa all these years and everything. Today was a uh, crucial match, but he just gave his wicket away. Then uh, uh, Van der Dusen or whoever is there, he also uh, means edged it. Then uh, Makram also uh, fell short. Means everybody, the top order of uh, South Africa collapsed, absolutely collapsed. It's the middle order who got uh, South Africa to a, you can say, a fighting total, somewhat a fighting total. Some words to say about Miller's batting. Miller has batted beautifully. Seriously, he batted beautifully. Lone warrior for South Africa. If Miller didn't score the runs today, hundred runs all out for South Africa. It would have been a humiliating defeat for South Africa. So Miller has uh, batted really well. But seriously, South Africa has to change their captain. I would suggest that they make Miller the white ball captain. This Bavuma absolutely horrible captain. Horrible means as a player he doesn't do anything. Means he basically South Africa is playing ten man actually. And today he bought a bandage. Something is playing with his left hand. He was not even. 70% fit. It looked like that he was 50% fit or something. With that also he has played. He's a test player, this Bavuma. He's not a, a white ball player actually. I don't know why. Actually, there is a another player who is sitting on the bench. He's a better player than Bavuma. He played one game. He had more impact than Bavuma had in this whole World Cup. So he does nothing. Bavuma as a player, as a captain, is somewhat okay, but that's not good enough because as a player, he's not contributing. Zero zero is scoring today. First ball of Stark itself. He just. Uh, Got out as a captain, as a leader, you should uh, t- uh, lead your team from the front in your batting. That is your specialized department, isn't it? There is just uh, falling very timid approach. What uh, he just uh, nicked it and he just gave it away. That's it. So that's what happened. Stark has picked up the wicket and that's it. Bauma and captaincy also. He is seeing that Rabada and this uh, Johnson is not bowling properly. So he should remove Johnson and bring in another fast bowler and make the bowling changes. Initial first ten overs only. He should go more attacking. Instead of that, he should have bought Makram initially in the first five overs itself. 
is seeing Rabada going for three overs, 30 runs. He bought Makram a little bit too late. And Makram was the only one who has uh, broke the partnership, isn't it? He only broke, he only got rid of David Warner. That was a very uh, crucial blow. The spinners of uh, South Africa tried their level best here. Maharaj, I think, he has given some 25 runs in 10 overs. He has picked up one wicket. Accurate and he has built a lot of pressure. Shamji, Samji, his name is, he has picked up Maxwell's wicket and he has picked up another wicket he has taken. He has taken Labushen's wicket also. Though that uh, one more wicket, 10 runs, uh, Labushen could have uh, gone earlier itself, like 10 balls earlier itself. That was umpire's call, but second time he tried a reverse sweep and he got it. After taking Maxwell's wicket from Eden Gardens, that Shamji is running to Howrah Station itself. So that Shamji is running. So it's not celebrate early, but still Shamji and uh, Ma Maharaj can celebrate actually. They have bowled out of the skin actually. For 20 overs, they have given almost runs. Maharaj has given 25 runs and Shamji has given some 45 runs. So uh, how much is uh, 70 runs they have given 20 overs. Economy 3, less than 3 actually. Economy, not even 70 runs they have given. And that uh, Makram also has given some uh, uh, 8 overs, some uh, 20, tw uh, 22 or 23 runs he has given and he's picked up one wicket. It's strange really, Bahuma's captaincy, he has not bowled out uh, Makram. He didn't get, make, he didn't bowl out Makram's 10 overs. Like 47 overs was there, one more over he could have bowled. 9 overs, but still he's not bowling out Makram 10 overs on a spin friendly wicket. Makram bowled really, really well. So that just shows that uh, there is a deficiency. There is a deficiency in his thinking. Think tank as a captain, Bahuma. He's not a, uh, this thing, uh, white ball captain. He's not a good white ball captain. He's a good red ball captain. He's a good test player. This guy, as a, ca as a captain, his batting also has gone down the drains. As a captain also, his think tank is not working. The spinners have bowled exceptionally well. That's why, that's why the match went down the wire. And really, really good fight that spinners have given. If not for the spinners, the match would have been over within 20 overs itself. The way Australia, that Travis said and everything was going. David Warner was going. That Travis said, that catch also that Klassen has missed. Then another, uh, that uh, substitution fielder, that opener only. That Bauma's replacement, that guy has missed. Seriously, those catches you cannot miss. And you cannot bowl 17 extras on a 200, when you are defending 212 runs. You cannot bowl 17 extras. Australia has bowled. 10 extras, you have bowled 17 extras, you cannot. You have to be more disciplined than your opposition. You are that, uh, this guy Jansen is giving whites after whites after whites in the initial spell. You cannot, you need urgent wickets, you have to bowl line and length accurate. On the spot you have to bowl, that's it. But great fight by South Africa, really, the spinners absolutely. They bowled exceptionally well, yeah. And uh, the wickets they have taken, yeah, that Shamji has taken that LBW, that Maxwell's wicket bowled and everything. And that Makram has taken that wicket. And last also that Pat Cummins, seriously. Uh, LBW that was outside leg, lot of luck was also there, DRS also lot of luck was there by Australia. Still was not out though, then uh, Quinton de Kock has dropped the catches, lot of catches that South Africa has dropped. So they have succumbed to the pressure and they have choked absolutely, they couldn't hold on to the catches. But overall if you see the match, right, 40 runs they were short man, through the batting. Their strength was batting and they were batting first, they were not chasing. They were batting first today. So no excuses whatsoever, when you are batting first. You are uh, on your driver's seat, you won the toss and bat them, uh, you, uh, you won the toss, you choose to bat and you are on the driver's seat, you should be on the driver's seat. With the bat you should do something and you should take the game to the opposition but you didn't do it. So credit to Australian bowlers, they bowled really well, they went all out aggressive, they have gone that Stark, Hazelwood and Cummins, they have shown their experience, they have shown their class absolutely. Stark, Hazelwood and Cummins and they are the world class bowlers, seriously they are showing, over the years they are showing. And they are bold and they just ripped apart South African top order. South Africa couldn't do anything. They just showed that toss is just a uh, inception. That's it. Toss is just an illusion. Without winning the toss also, you can bat first and you can go aggressively. You should not lose your morale and you should not lose your uh, mind if you lose the toss also. That's what the Australians have shown that. Australian fast bowlers have shown that. So whatever it is, Miller and Klassen has built a partnership. Miller has given a fighting total but that was not enough. And they have dropped catches. And Bamuwa's captaincy was also not up to the mark and 17 extras they have given. That has costed South Africa dearly. And South African uh, bowlers, fast bowlers also, Rabada, full nullified. The Travis and uh, this guy uh, won a nullified. 3 over 30 runs he has given Rabada. Still, uh, that Bamuwa has brought him into the attack. But that was not Rabada's wicket actually. That was Van der Dusen's wicket. That was a spectacular catch that Mitchell Marsh was. Spectacular catch that one was. I agree. So Rabada has picked up one wicket but that is actually the fielder's catch. So, Prabhana didn't make that much of impact. That Kotze, that bowler, he gave his heart out, man. He gave his heart out and in the second spell, he bowled 
really well man like he gave his heart out he was fully uh, hamstring was there uh, like he, he got a uh, full uh, sprain and everything still he gave his heart out and he has picked up the steven smith uh, steven smith's wicket that was a crucial wicket steven smith was playing a test match he was playing like a test match and he's showing why he's a good test match batsman but he tried to play aggressive and he just threw his wicket away steven smith's wicket that was a crucial wicket and another wicket he has taken that caught his wicket he has bought ma uh, the ma uh, match back into south africa's favor like it means it was going all australia's way but still it became 50 50 again when english wicket has gone when english wicket has gone and he has trapped even pat cummins plumbed like that he has trapped but it was impact i think outside or it was umpire's call god only knows drs has given pat cummins not out something was there like that so that courtse has bowled really well but australia's uh, bowlers were better than uh, south african fast bowlers fast bowlers i'm talking about that is the because of the experience because south african bowlers were not experienced jansen is not an experienced bowler is very young courtse is an under 19 bowler like 2 years back he was an under 19 bowler is just 21 or something he not k was uh, absent that's why this guy has come in and rabada was is experienced bowler but he was absolutely nullified by travis head and david warner so their fast bowlers couldn't make that initial 10 overs impact that 10 overs 6 overs for 60 runs that only took the match away that's it when you are defending 212 runs you need initially 3 4 wick, uh, 2 3 wickets and south africa didn't and you should not concede that much of runs that's what happened so india is playing australia on sunday Okay, India is playing Australia on Sunday. We should be careful with Stark, Cummins, Azelwood. These three bowlers are very deadly bowlers, experienced bowlers. These three bowlers only troubled us last time. Two for three. Still, I remember Chennai's wicket. We should be very careful, and we should uh, simply play aggressive cricket. That's it on uh, finals. And we have to play. We have to field really well, and we should not give that much of extras. It can hurt us actually because match will be very very tough if it goes down the wire. these all small small margins can make a huge huge difference i'm telling you so sunday india versus australia it is huge huge match huge huge match